Okay, so I make a lot of stories about getting trapped into places, and I'm not gonna lie, it's never fun being trapped anywhere. But today's story is based on me getting trapped somewhere that I never expected to get trapped into. And no, this time it wasn't the girl's fault. Surprisingly, it was my teacher's fault. But before the story starts, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do, and on top of that, not to mention, as you guys are watching this, I am live on Kick Streaming and also telling these stories live to you guys so if you guys want to see my face as i tell these insane stories go to kick.com slash bubba other than that let's get straight into this yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another insane story so today's story takes place back when i was actually in grade seven now grade seven i'm not gonna lie i wasn't a player and no i did not do the Devil's Tango in grade seven, okay? I know a lot of people think I've been doing it since birth, but that is also very illegal. Going on from there though, I remember in grade seven, my teacher one time went in front of the classroom and said, okay class, so today, we're gonna be going to around the lake. There's this lake that's near my place and that was actually near my school, funny enough, that had this like really cool area that you can kayak in and stuff like that. And me, honestly, I liked going there with my family a lot. And knowing that I got to go there with my class was pretty cool. Now, I remember as basically we were getting handed out the field trip form, I was really excited to go. So I remember I went home and I told my parents about it and they let me go. Now, obviously the day of me, I got excited. I got my, you know, nice swim trunks on. I got got my cool Minecraft t-shirt that I love to wear and I ended up basically going. When I got to school, I remember we all went on the bus and me, my goal was to sit beside my crush on the bus, but obviously that didn't end up happening because apparently every girl has to sit with another girl on the bus. Like, why can't I sit beside my crush for once? Uh, you know what? Never mind. That's not the point. Going on though, I remember I ended up trying to kind of like go near my crush and sit beside her, but I ended up getting pulled beside a guy named Billy that I'm not going to lie. He smells like my socks on a Sunday morning. And I'm telling you right now, I wear socks in bed, so not the best smell. Anyways, going on from there though, I remember we ended up getting to the lake and me, I started getting really excited and we all ended up basically getting ready to start kayaking. Now, the thing about kayaking is that there's many ways to do it, but since we were like, you know, a lot younger and in grade seven, we had to get grouped up with another person because there were two spots on the kayak. Now me, I did not know who I was going to get grouped up with. Now, back when I was in grade seven, I wasn't the coolest kid, obviously. I was mostly that nerd that ended up playing video games all day, read comic books. I don't know. I still read comic books to this day, but that's not the point. Going on, not a lot of people wanted to be partnered with me. So I remember basically the way the teacher ended up partnering us up was in a more respectful manner is the way she put it. So I remember she came up in front of us and said, all right, class. So right now what we're going to do is everyone's going to stand in line and I'm going to count you into your groups. I remember we all ended up going in line, basically getting ready to, you know, be put into our groups. And I remember I was standing there crossing my fingers hoping that I would get someone that's at least somewhat normal to be my partner. Because if I get Billy, I, I swear I'm going to end up shooting. Not the point. Going on. I remember I ended up sitting there and basically fingers crossed, hoping and hoping. And then the teacher ended up saying my name. Bubba, you will be with... And then she ended up saying my crush's name. Now, when she said that, I'm not going to lie to you. I got the most excited I've ever been throughout the entire school year. Me and this girl on a boat, it could be like Titanic. Except without the sinking. Obviously, I don't want to sink. I wasn't a really good swimmer. So I remember I was really excited and I basically ended up, you know, running to my boat. But obviously my crush, well, she wasn't really that excited to be kayaking with me. Obviously, seeing her facial expressions, it made it seem like she didn't want to be my partner. So I promised myself that I would be the best kayaker there. What I ended up doing was I even set up the boat and everything for her. I ended up pushing with all my 120 pounds of me, pushing the boat all the way to the water. She didn't help out because she was on her phone, but at the same time, what girl isn't addicted to her phone? From there, I remember I ended up hopping in the boat. Um, you can hop in now. Okay, whatever is what she ended up saying. And she ended up hopping in as well. She was at the front and I was in the back. I mean, usually happens, but never mind. going on. Sorry. I remember me and her, we started kayaking. We were, you know, rowing the whole thing, blah, 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 doing the basics of what we were supposed to do. But then I remember she wasn't really trying and we had to keep up with the class. So I remember I used all my might and all my soul to basically row that thing like no tomorrow. I even played row, row, row your boat in my head just so I can make sure I'm doing it right, which sounds sad, but you guys get what I mean. So I remember as I was rowing, I ended up basically looking around as well, enjoying the view as I was sweating my arms off. Like no joke. Like I felt like I was sweating more than a sin at church. It was getting super annoying, but at the same time, I mean, my crush was getting to her destination 
situation, right? So in a way, I guess it was a win-win. From there, I remember as I was rowing though, I was looking around and I saw this island. Now I saw the island and I looked back away and I ended up kept rowing. But then my crush ended up saying, Papa, we should go to that island. It looks so good. I can get an Instagram photo there. Is what I said. Yeah, like, can we go to the island? Are, are you sure? The, the class is just up there. Bubba, go to the island. Okay, is what I said. So I ended up basically rowing towards the island and my teacher was questioning where we were going. But as she kept calling my name, I kind of ignored her because obviously if my crush wants to go to the island, I'm going to take her to the island. So I ended up rowing there and I remember right as I was rowing towards like the end of it, I ended up dropping my paddle and it ended up falling and I did not know where it was. So I remember my crush ended up giving me hers. So I ended up rowing all the way there. When I got there, I remember she got out the boat and so did I. And when we ended up basically leaving the boat and getting off it, she ended up getting off and so did I. And I basically ended up watch her take selfies of herself and it even got to the point where she actually spoke to me and said, uh, Bubba, can you take a photo of me? Yeah, sure. Is what I said. I ended up taking a photo of her and she was as beautiful as always. Well, I mean, it was my crush. Obviously, she's beautiful. Going on though, I remember I ended up taking a photo of her and right as I take the photo, I see her face go from a smile to a shocked face. And I didn't know why until I turned around and I saw that the kayak that we got off of basically went away. Now, at this point, I remember I started panicking and my teacher honestly kind of like thought we were going to keep up but I guess kind of looked away. So in a way, we were stuck on that island, which I mean, out of all things you could bring to an island, I guess bringing a hot chick, if that was an option, would be cool. But in this case, I don't think she wanted to be an option. I don't know. One thing led to another. We were stuck on there and we ended up basically sitting down and just waiting for our teachers to roll back with the class. And I remember as we were sitting there, I decided to ask my crush a question. Hey, listen, if we get in trouble for this, I don't mind taking the blame. She looks at me and says, you would do that? Yeah, I mean, why? Why not? Me trying to be the white knight in shining armor. She looks at me and kind of like looks at me as if I'm like stupid, which I mean, fair enough. It is a stupid thing to say, but still, you know, I'm just trying to be nice. She looks at me and she just says, okay, fair enough. And she ended up going back on her phone. Yeah. Wow. So much for an emotional touching moment. Like I don't get it in the movies. It always happens. Why not for me going on though? I remember from there, basically our teacher started rowing back and our teacher saw us, you know, sitting on the island and, and the whole class ended up going, ooh, they're on. On an island yeah I, I wish there was a reason to ooh because there wasn't okay so one thing led to another we ended up basically having to wait another like 20 minutes on there just so they can get the kayak back to us and we ended up rowing back and when we rowed back I remember when we got back to the mainland our teacher ended up walking up to me saying okay so Bubba I was told that it was your fault for what happened can you explain yeah it, it was my fault I I wanted to go to the island and I, I just wanted to check it out it was my bad and from there I ended up getting in trouble my parents were called in and I got, you know, in trouble for two days of staying after school and doing math homework. But at the same time, I mean, my crush was happy, right? Basically, long story short, don't let girls take advantage of you because they will. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.